Hello everyone, how are we? I'm Kay from Crafter with Kay and in the room with me is the Pickle. Now, this is an unboxing from Diamond Art Studio. They have a new product uh, on their shop now and of course I had to give it a try. So I'm doing this on my desk uh, because I'm hoping I can get away with doing it on my desk. If I have to clear more space, I'll have to clear more space. So, I love that you still get the ribbon and I noticed that on each end of this tube, because they usually come in boxes, uh, you got the sticker. I know, it's so exciting! So, let's get into this. So I'm loving, I am loving this little box. It's quite cool. So, we've got some bubble wrap. So, for anyone who enjoys the popping of bubble wrap. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's the good stuff right there. So, we've got some more bubble wrap. And we have item number one. I don't actually have any of these little heart trays yet, so I really wanted to try it. That's cool. So it's got both ends, so you can use both ends. Nice. Yeah, hey, sweetie. Wouldn't be an unboxing without you. You love circles. Circles are her favourite shape. So that's really cool. I can't wait to try this out. Oh, nice. It's actually a pretty nice, nice snug fit. Nice, you got the diamond emblem on there, so I can't wait to check that out. So, let's have a look. See, so we've got for anyone who doesn't know what this is, it's a little hint. Oh, anything else? Nope, just more bubble wrap at the very end, which you cannot see because of my angle, but that's fine. And she's stolen the end, I will get that back from her later, <laughs> right? So, I love how this is this is really nicely packed. I like that. It is purple. It's coming up more blue. For some reason, my camera does not like to pick up purple very well. So this is stretcher bars, 30 by 30. What they are is it's a type of frame. And this is what I'm going to be doing in this video. It's not just an unboxing. It's a framing. <laughs> Wish me luck, people. If you're on my uh, Facebook or anything, you would have seen I've already said place your bets a few days ago when I first ordered this. So yeah, we shall see how many curse words and stuff. So let's get this out. You know, so yeah, I'm just going to tear it, whatever. <laughs> I'm usually a much nicer, but I just want to get into it. So it's all lovely wrapped. <laughs> so, eat off. One, two, three, four. Got our bars got these things that slot into them somehow and we've got our instructions so bear with me and we will begin good luck everybody okay we're back as you can see i've got my painting so before it was just blue tacked to the wall so let's just get rid of that okay so all the blue tack is off fantastic so i'm just gonna run my fingers over make sure there's nothing missing since it was completed, it's looking good. So, I've read the instructions. Not clear, easy to read actually, so that's good. So for now, that's gonna go off to one side and we're gonna play with our bars. So apparently, they fit together. As long as I do this right. Just get this in roughly so I know what I'm doing. Yes, yeah, sweetie. So just rough, very roughly at the moment. It does say in the instructions that it may be helpful to have a mallet or a hammer or something. I don't have that. Now, if I need one, I'm going to try and get creative in the sense that I'll just find something that's got a bit of weight to it and just whack it <laughs> because why not but I can feel it sliding in slowly but surely so I do have a tape measure because it does recommend maybe a tape measure or a measuring stick So we're just going to take it one bit at a 
time. Hey, that one's in. Oh no, a Dougie's DVD's finished. Sorry on that DVD. And on the way back, I grabbed one of her Dougie skills because it's quite a good bit of weight to it, so <laughs> potentially. Uh, sorry about the lighting. It's not the greatest I know, but it is the evening at the moment. Or late afternoon anyway. That's that one's gone in a bit funny. I wonder if we can get one to straighten up. Okay. See, this one's gone a bit. That's without me hammering that one. The other ones are looking pretty good. Okay. It's literally just hmm. What is going on here? Oh, I wonder if this was the end that looked a bit different. Let's try giving it a bit of a wiggle, see what happens. Sorry if this is really loud on your ears, I've just thought of that. <laughs> Whacking away. Right. Can't help myself. Right, so that's kind of it. I know there's a bit of a thing here, but... So it says on the instructions to measure, make sure it's all cushy. I'm so glad I got this little tape measure. Right, so from corner to corner, mm, hairs off of 43, corner to corner, oh wow, yeah, that is different. So that one's like 42 and a half. That was 43, so. I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way, people. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> I've watched the odd video, but they all seem to be very similar. So that's Bound of the Money 43. Let's have a look at this side. Hey, Bang on the Money 43. Way. So if you don't have a hammer and you have to have kids, it's one of their skills. This is actually appropriate that I picked this one up. I picked it up randomly. This is Rolly. He's very he's very loud. <laughs> oh my goodness. Cool. So that bit's done. Next up. Da, 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 da. Place a stretch frame on the back of the canvas uh, with the lipped side face down. Cool. Now, I see at this point I'm going to need my new staple gun, which I've never used, so this should be fun. Oh, yeah, yeah, so let's get this out as well. So, so far, no injuries, even whacking stuff with a skill. Hey, sweetie, how are you? Can I help you? Yeah. Bye. Cool. Nothing in it. Go pew, pew, pew. Cool. Oh, that's cool. So you can unhook your... That's good to know. What does this do? What does that do? Maybe if I read the instructions, I'd know. So, let's push this off to one side. Now I have to delete my dress from there. Right, let's have... Right, because this is me, I've only given them a brief look over the instructions. So, <laughs> so bad. You should really not copy what I'm doing in this sense. Really take your time and read to make sure you know what you are doing. That's all I can say. 
but honestly I'm just too excited so let's go into here and that is now locked into place what I might do I'm gonna grab this box that the staples came in and I'm just going to Okay, I've just checked. I'm gonna put. I've pushed them further down. Hands away, young lady. Nope. Well, just in between while I'm a quick look up, she little one of course has to have a look at what's going on and then run away because I've now hit. Whoop whoop! I figured it out. I put the staples in the wrong place. So, huzzah! <laughs> This is why you practice. <laughs> I really should have practiced the other day, but where's the fun in that? So, get rid of that. Eat that. Right, so, come to the instructions. Place that down there. And then you place the frame down on the back of the canvas with the lips side facing down, which I am assuming is this. Because that's like, I guess. So, face down. Fold one end of the canvas over and use the staple gun. Right, so before I do that, I'm going to make sure I'm somewhat level. Because also, I just want to flip it over a minute and just see what it will look like. Oh, That'd be cool. So yeah, I want to make sure I'm about as even as I possibly can be. I'm thinking any canvas that you can see, I'm going to put some nice tape around or paint or even just duct tape. Who knows? So, trusty, trusty measuring tape, and let's grab a pen to make some notes if I need to. So, and because I want this as straight as possible, let's use the edge of the desk so you can see what I'm doing. Right. Where are we? Hey, sweetie, so that's a three. That's mine. I know it's round, but it's mine. Three. Mm, not quite three. You need to come down a little bit. Three. 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 That's cool. But now this side's way off, so let's move. Let's do the top a minute. Mm -hmm. I really need to find a halfway point. Right. Three and a half. Three and a half. Three and a half. Tiny, moving the vine tiny increments as I go. Right now, top and bottom are good. So, what size is this? So, we want to scoot this over just a smidge. So where are we at now? Just over three and a bit. Hey, sweetie. So, Mummy needs this. Uh, nope. 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 No. No, don't touch it. No, no, no. Right. So, just before three and a half. I advise doing this without the <laughs> without pickles. One second. Okay, she's sitting on my chair. <laughs> right. Now I've got to do this bit again. Just before four. Little before four. Way more before four. Okay. Just a smidge. Just like three and a half. Three and a half. I'm trying to get it as accurate as I can. Right. Three and a half. Three and a half. What have we got up here now? That's three and a half. Three and a half. Okay. What have we got down here? Just short three and a half. Just short three and a half. Just short three and a half. Sweet. All right. I'm happy with that. Yes. Okay. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So now what we've got to do is press down, pull back without trying to nudge where you've just spent all that time measuring and there cool. that's really hard to pull <laughs> we got our first staple in <laughs> yes we can do this guys that's it it's quite a tricky 
doing it one handed. This is a hefty staple gun, I must say. So that's good. It's really hard to pull that trigger, which is probably a good thing, to be honest. All right. Now, I'm pretty sure it's the opposite. <sighs> On the opposite side, yep. Grib in the middle, pull down, and the staple as before. So. Ah, my grip really isn't that great. <laughs> There we go, so that's done. Keep the corner fold tight and staple the canvas to the frame. Careful not to... Fair enough. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all the sides first and then worry about the corners because I'm not too sure or I might just snip. I don't know, I'm scared of cutting stuff. Don't about anyone else. <laughs> right. So what if I fold it a bit like a present? Hello beautiful girl, can I help you? No, I don't think that's going to work. Okay, you know so I'm just going to staple it. And then figure it out in a minute maybe? Hmm. Or maybe I will put a cut in, I don't know. Alright, let's just get this on. So I'm pulling it nice and tight. Yeah, seriously, my grip is not that big. This thing's bigger than my hand as well, which doesn't help. So, I'm going to give myself a little bit of leeway near that bit. So far, so good. Yes, we still got to sort out the corners, but we're, we're getting there, people. We're, we're getting there. I'm trying to give myself a bit of space to do, deal with these corners in a minute. So before doing the corners, that's not too bad actually. Look at that. Look at all that sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. So that's quite cool. I've never done anything remote, like anything close to this. So I'm going to attempt to figure out these corners. I may speed you up while I figure it out. Keep the corner folded tight. Hmm. Just say anywhere here about cutting. No. So. Don't you gotta finish? So what I'm thinking of doing is like that. Where's my light? Let's put the light on here. No, I found my light setting. I don't often use my light setting. So all I've done here is I've bent it round like that, so it's tight. And then I'll put it on here like so without my stapling my fingers yeah I wasn't very careful there about that joint <laughs> right, so again I'm going to bring it tight how did I do it? <laughs> right so I had it tight and How did I do that? I want it to be bent down over here. How the dickens did I just fold that? Okay, like that. And probably would be a lot easier if I had cut it. But as they say, live and learn. Haha. <laughs> 
such a botch job. <laughs> I don't really, I want to bring that down as much as I can. It's just to be careful about how are you supposed to staple the corners or not. So that's the space. If I do it here, it should go on either side of the gap. Whew. See, so fold down, fold down. Oh, whoopsies. <laughs> So what did I do? I folded it down and then ay, ay, ay. you can learn what not to do on my video. It's all good. It's all gravy. Now does that work? Yeah that works. That works. I'm going for it. It's gonna work. Don't you dare come over here, sweetie. Right, okay, we're getting there. Hello, beautiful girl, can I help you? Can I help you? <laughs> okay, it's fine, she wanted a frozen dummy, it's all good. Hopefully that will keep her distracted. So, I've just got this one to do. Well, I'm trying to go, I am doing my best to avoid the joins. Hey, that didn't come out half bad, did it? Nice. Even that bit's pretty central. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> so now the only thing I've got to do is add, let's move that over there. These do head keys. So these are wedgies. Wedge into the corners of the stretcher bar frame. These are used to retention the canvas in future. So, fail, okay, fail. So, careful you don't get splinters, guys. So, these go. Oh, I see. So, you wedge them in here and there, like so. Let's just double check and read that. Push the wedges into the corners of the stretch bar frame. I can do that. Push. And push. I'm going to do opposite corners because why not? So all you can see me do here is go... So I'm putting the flat edge along the side. This one's quite wide. Can I get away with putting that in a different one? I'll try. Right, so wedge and wedge. Uh, yep, yeah, this way. Wedge and eep. wedge. You will go in there. Right. And then wedge. And. Come on. You know you want to go in. Give me a minute. Right. I've just used a nail file just to tr attempt to cut it down just a little bit. Well, not cut, you know, but to file it down a little bit. You know, saying, where's that trusty skill? Boop, boop, boop. Get in there. Thank you, sweetie. That was my hammer. <laughs> this one's not going in so well. But the others are in. It'll be, f it'll be fine. <laughs> so, here you have it. I may actually um, paint the sides or put some washi tape on it or just leave it as is. Like that, you got your details down this side. If you ever lose any drills come off or anything, then... At least you know what colour you're going for. But yeah, I hope you've <laughs> enjoyed my um, tutorial. <laughs> and I'll catch you in the next video. And no swearing, I don't think. And no injuries. Ba -ba -ba -boo! Party time, yeah. What do you think, sweetie? What do you think? 
<gasps> so shiny. Because she's like right here. She's got my hand. Because she's so cute. <laughs> right. Catch you in the next video, guys. Bye.